But yeah, it's good to see Saturn Films popping up again. That's uh, Nick Cage's oh. film production company, if you don't remember. Uh, oh my god! Yeah, oh, yeah. I had Ab- no, I had no clue. Absolute <laughs> veteran on this show. Let me tell you, we've seen so many Saturn Films films. <laughs> Yeah, he really loves uh, Saturn a lot. Yeah. Um, he's tried to buy like some of the rings off of uh, the black market. Yes, um, <laughs> still definitely a better investment than that like house in Louisiana that was uh, uh, inhabited by that like cruel slave master. You ever like read that crazy ass story? I did read a little bit about it. I remember him buying a house because he wanted to write the next great American novel in it, and it was a house yeah, in New well, Orleans. The, well, the, the house that uh, he bought was where they filmed Zandali. It, it wasn't actually, but it was in the French Quarter, and like the woman who originally owned it was like such a monstrous slave owner that like the people of new orleans like literally ran her out of town and she had to go back to france holy shit yeah well, no she uh, she has some, like Cage, horrible stories <laughs> where she did like fucking saw shit to slaves it's, it's pretty nuts Ugh. and he bought that house so well uh it's a wonderful legacy for cage to be attached to <laughs> um yeah well we, we know mean, nick Cage is... has, has done some very white supremacist things in his movies so it's not surprising <laughs> that he would be fine with that but <laughs> <clears throat> well, it's Nicolas Cage. Why not? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> I'm sorry. What were you saying, Rod? <laughs> I, you know, I think I forgot. I, um... <laughs> it's all good. Uh, Hell so, yeah. So, uh, maybe going to talk about how, how dumb Nicolas Cage is with his money. I, you remember when he bought the dinosaur? Didn't he buy, like, dinosaur bones or yeah, something? he bought, like, a T-Rex skull or yeah. something. Yeah, for, like, I think he 300... might have bought a whole skeleton or something. <sighs> yeah, I think it was, like, $300,000, and it turned out it was stolen. Uh, from the Mongolian <laughs> Museum. How do you steal a fucking yeah. dinosaur? Nick Cage would be like one of the people to buy like artifacts from Iraq during like the like the ISIS takeover of that country, and he just accidentally buys all of like the ISIS like fucking <laughs> stolen artifacts. He might have done that. He probably did. That's uh, actually the plot of National Treasure Three. He's uh, <laughs> trying to recover all of the ISIS artifacts. It's like, guys, we have to find Hammurabi's code. <laughs> but uh, anyways. <laughs> This movie had a budget of $150 million.